the formidable robot. I truly wish that things that could be seen as promising could be true and trustworthy. I mean it, I really wish I could trust things like that, but sometimes when trust is broken by one thing, it feels like you can't trust anything else, and at this point, I don't think I'll be able to trust anything after this. Whatever this was, it looked so promising to me, and by that, I mean it promised me something I've wanted for a long time. You see, when it comes to games, I'm into the dark and edgy ones. Unfortunately, a lot of these games at the time cost a lot, and I would never be able to buy any of them due to some complications of which I can't really explain. However, there is one thing I both can and cannot explain, and it's pretty much the reason I am writing this. So I was scrolling through the internet for a game that I could play online for free, and that's when I came across a link to a website that had a game that my friend had been encouraging me to play ever since it came out, but I would never be interested in it. The game was, Purple Luigi's Mansion. At first, I was going to just scroll past it, but when I saw the description under the link, it somehow caught my eye. Apparently, it was supposed to be a scarier version of Luigi's Mansion with darker stuff. Strangely, I was overcome with interest, so I clicked on the link. The website that had the game was called, PurpleLuigiGames.com, which was the website my friend and I visited a few times to see Purple Luigi's games and forum posts. My friend enjoyed the site, but I didn't, because first off, a lot of people in the forum were harassing and making fun of Purple Luigi for his games, which both him and I didn't appreciate, so it was pretty stressful. Second, the games weren't really that interesting to me, but at least I didn't harass Purple Luigi for it. And third, I was also not fond of the website itself because of how eye straining it was, since all the pages were ridiculously purple. So that's why I quickly scrolled down to where the game was and put it in full screen. When I ran the game, I noticed the title screen was a bit off. The sky and the title were purple instead of blue. I'm not complaining though, because to be honest, it wasn't as bad as the purple website itself. But when I started the game, everything was purple. I was getting kind of annoyed at that point, because I didn't get how making everything purple was supposed to be scary, but I just decided to keep playing and hope that something actually interesting would happen in the game. Surprisingly, something interesting did happen, but it wasn't the good kind of interesting, because when Luigi entered the parlor, the ghost that scared Luigi looked odd. Its jar was distorted and its body looked like it was made entirely out of human limbs. The game started lagging, my browser became unresponsive, and I wasn't able to exit. So I restarted my computer. However when I booted it back up, the first thing I saw was a picture of Luigi, except his clothes and his skin were purple, and his face was extremely distorted. Suddenly, purple text appeared on the screen saying, why would you do this? After that, it took me to my desktop screen, but everything was purple, and that's when I knew my computer had a virus. I tried using antiviruses to get rid of the virus, but none of them worked. In fact, all they seemed to do was make the virus worse. I could hear laughing in the background while my computer's condition was getting worse. I decided to go back to the website to try to find a solution on how to stop the virus. However, when I went back to the website, it was more purple than before, and there was a forum with pictures of people's faces that were purple and distorted, just like the purple Luigi that was on my computer, and they looked like they were laughing at me. I don't know why those pictures were posted there, but I think the virus had something to do with it. But thankfully, I found a post that my friend had made, asking how to stop the virus, and Purple Luigi responded with the instructions on how to stop it. However, as I was following the instructions, the page's colors were becoming extremely noisy over time, making it harder to read. My desktop wasn't any better, as there were many distorted clones of Purple Luigi floating around and laughing at me while covering some parts of the screen. So I had to look harder at the monitor to read the instructions and complete them at the same time. It was hard to do since it was really hurting my eyes, but I managed to complete all of the instructions. Then all of the Purple Luigi clones disappeared, my desktop colors went back to normal, and the website went back to its original state. 
However, before the virus disappeared completely, the purple Luigi on my screen talked to me one more time through purple text, I hope you're proud of yourself after this. Then, he blasted a loud screeching noise through my computer speakers and flashed a bright light at me. I fell back and became completely stunned by it. After I recovered, I got up and saw that the virus was gone. I was relieved at first, but then I noticed that everything around me was purple. I realized that the virus had affected my vision, making me see purple everywhere. I went back to my computer and saw two new posts in the website's forum. They were pictures of me and my friend's faces, except they looked weird. My friend's face had an unhinged and distorted jaw that had arms coming out of it that were pointing forward. It looked and felt like he was laughing at me after what I had to go through, which made me a bit upset, but the picture of me made me more upset. My face had a lot of mold on it, my eyes were completely purple, and my jar was also unhinged. I was displeased at the sight of that picture of my face, and I went to my bathroom to convince myself it wasn't real, but I was wrong. My face was in the same exact condition as the picture showed. I was very upset, because I don't know what I did to deserve this. If anything, the people in the forum were the ones who truly deserved it since they were the ones who drove Purple Luigi insane. Unfortunately, I'm guessing there were so many that he decided to make it for everyone, which is totally unfair, because I had to deal with it even though I never did anything wrong. I get why he would be upset over something like this, but why would he go so far as to make a virus? Anyway, I have to go now. I think my vision is weakening.